In this video, we are going to try to create an automated YouTube channel in 24 hours. Have you ever asked yourself what it would be like to create an automated YouTube channel? Will it mean infinite riches, fame and fortune? Or have hundreds of creators already figured out the secret of an automated YouTube channel? Which basically equals automated income. Well, in this video, I will try to build an automated YouTube channel with original content and I will give myself only 24 hours to do so. Creating and monetizing a YouTube channel is a hard task. I can tell you that first person. Many things go into a YouTube channel. If you put cute kitten in the title of your YouTube video, from the content of the video, the title, the cover, the description, and the chance of what people are searching. So before we start, we need some rules and a plan. The plan is going to be pretty simple for this bit. First of all, we're not going to use any code. We're going to use a Microsoft technology called Microsoft Power Automate Desktop that is available for free on every license of Windows 11. Then, the content of the videos that we're going to create has to be original. Therefore, we will not run into copyright claims and we'll also provide some values to anybody that is watching our content. The entire process has to be automated, meaning that we don't want to sit down and do anything. Everything has to work from the beginning until the end, from creating all of the content until publishing it onto YouTube. And we have to do all of this in just 24 hours. Nice! <laughs> I found it. I found it. Let's start the timer and let's get going. First, we need a general layout for what our channel will be doing. So, after some research, I came up with a channel that we will be creating and it will be dedicated to posting news videos. We will go to a famous news site and get the news articles from that site. We will after that apply different algorithms of machine learning to check the news if it's fake, to understand its sentiment, to synthesize it and others as well. We will also, since we're making a video, we will need to convert this text into a voice, so we'll use also text-to-speech. So let's get starting building this. We will have to take some shortcuts if we want to finish this in less than 24 hours. Building the first process was very easy, quite a walk in the park. Getting the news and putting them inside of an Excel sheet, easy going. I also build a small process that will check if the news have been already collected and won't insert them twice inside of the Excel sheet. I'm feeling great. Not even 30 minutes have passed since we decided to build this and I already have a small Excel file with all of the news, headlines, tags, links and all of the other information. I knew that now the next steps would be a little bit more complicated. We have to check our news to see if it is a fake news and also do some other machine learning algorithms on it, such as sentiment analysis. So, I had an important decision to do. Should we integrate APIs with my own cloud services from Microsoft, Google, IBM, and so on, and do this via API the way that it's meant to do? Or should we do this quick and dirty and find a website that is already doing some fake news algorithms and another website that is doing sentiment analysis and just scrape it with Power Automate desktop, which will take much less time, but it will be also less stable. Well, without much thought, I opted for the second option. It will mean a less stable robot, but as a prototype and since we only have 24 hours, it will have to do. So we had to first find out if the news is fake or not. So we use the web page and this was pretty easy. Uh, next, we had to do a sentiment analysis and this was pretty easy as well since there is already a connector in Microsoft Power Automate desktop that allows us to easily connect and check the sentiment of our news. Next, we had to get text to speech. Okay, this is where things started to slow down a little bit. I needed to find a service that would give me unlimited tries or, or the ability to convert text to speech and download this voice. Booyakasha. After a few hours of research, and this took quite some time, a revelation appeared in front of me. Bam, bam, bam. IBM text to speech. 
I have been using this in my previous work to automate processes and create chatbots, etc. And they have a free service. Okay, now that was a big time waster. We have less and less time and we're still running behind. We need next to get the images. Surprisingly, this turned out to be more difficult than predicted. It looked like going to Google and downloading the images that are related to the news articles was going to be an easy task. But after a few tries, Google started blocking our requests and popping us with a caption. So I tried another way, but it turned out not to be stable as well. However, a very simple change gave me hope that we could still do this in less than 24 hours. We just changed from Google to DuckGo instead, a different search engine. And with this little change, the process was done in just a couple of minutes. Okay, now we are at a very important step. We have all of the material that we need to create a original video. We have the images, we have the text, we have the description, we have some machine learning. So we can create a 15 second short video about the news article. Now what? This is where I realized that maybe I got a little bit ahead of myself. Maybe I didn't plan this well enough. Well, for sure I didn't plan this well enough. We need to create a 15 second video and I have no idea what tool we should use. Well, for my RPA channel, I use DaVinci Resolve, which is a pretty heavy duty application. It will be a true pain to attempt to automate this. So I researched and tried different tools and some online tools as well, but nothing was working. It was there that I was ready to throw in the towel. When I received a call from the global automation leader, who is also an expert in different automation technologies and most importantly, my friend. After telling him about my challenge, he agreed to help me and build the last mile of this robot. He suggested Window Movie Maker and with only three hours to go, we shared our screens and started working on this together. I built the upload video to YouTube robot that still remained while he built the robot to create the video in Windows Movie Maker. The solution was right there. Movie Maker is installed on all machines by default and meaning that the robot would work automatically on the virtual box as well. We have achieved something great, ladies and gentlemen. In just 24 hours, we have created a fully automated YouTube channel that creates original content, content that is not plagiarized, not copied from somebody else, but content that our automation creates and posts onto YouTube. And we did this, let me emphasize it again, in just less than 24 hours. Now there is some minor tune-ups that have to be done for the quality of the videos, but we have demonstrated and proved that this can work. I am very happy about this experiment. We have proved once again that we can automate pretty much anything. We can automate those things that theoretically could have been done only by humans since we require creativity. Now, stop and think about this. What does this mean? Does this mean that automation can automate pretty much anything? Well, it means you should subscribe to the RPA Champions channel or lose your job. I love you RPA Champions and I will see you in the next automation.